Hey, Zeno, uh, thanks for jumping on this call with me. We've had a lot of people on social media kind of asking to see a little bit more. It's been a kind of a crazy week. A great response. Yeah, man, everyone wants to know what is this new dot email thing? And yeah, like we're blown away, right? By the response, there's more than 10,000 people on the wait list already. It's crazy. So yeah, let, let's give it a, a sneak peek. Yeah. Let's show what this thing is all about. Early, early access, early view, you know, just show them right away. Yes. So this is definitely not the final version. This is just V1. Yeah. There's a lot that's going to change. Uh, but yeah, this is new dot email. Uh, and what this does is a email template generator using natural language, right? So let's build something new here. Um, let's say I'm the founder of SF coffee company. Okay. Perfect. And, uh, I need a welcome email for my website. So let's see what this is going to do. Now this is generating some react code, as we can see, uh, it's using react email components, mm. uh, which is nice. And it also uses TypeScript and Tailwind. And there you go. Now wow. I have a template in, I don't know how many seconds, but, <laughs> uh, it's here and it works. Uh, yeah, let's look back at, uh, at the code a little bit again. So Tailwind React email, and it's all, it all works, right? So if I just go ahead and, and send this, and this is the, the cool part, it's powered by recent and I can just go to my Gmail and here's the email. That's pretty cool. Like to be able to see that quick of a reaction, like that connection with recent makes it pretty powerful. Yeah, man, like just the fact that I now have an email to get started mm -hmm. in like less than a minute and I see it on my real inbox. Yeah. That's super powerful. You can check it on your phone, like check it on other devices. That's that's cool. Totally. You don't have and to have a recent account yeah. to send that, right? No. You yeah. can just like sign up for a new email and then start sending. Uh I can keep evolving this, right? Let's say no, I don't want a, a welcome email. I actually need an invoice email with three items, uh, espresso, a mocha, and a caramel macchiato. I love those. I can't spell uh, oh. <laughs> any of those, I'm pretty sure. So that was, that was good. <laughs> Let's see what this is gonna do now. And you can like, you can play with the code too, right? Like you don't have to just do chat prompts. Yes, let's try that now. So what this is doing is generating that invoice email and there's some really interesting things about it already that I can see. So if you're used to, you know, email development, you know, that coding tables is very tricky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and making sure this works on Outlook and Gmail and Yahoo Mail and all that, it, it's tricky. But the fact that I can just jump in and you see like here, it has already like variables for those three uh, items. Uh, it's even adding the SF text rate. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, but I can, yeah, I can go ahead and say, you know what? Uh, we're expanding to Portland. So this is the invoice for Portland Coffee Company. And yeah, it works. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, like I use Cursor every day. And like one of the things we've heard is people are just like, well, I could do something like this in Cursor. So it needs to do more than that. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. some of the stuff we have, but like, there, there's a lot coming. So what can we know about what's coming that kind of is going to set this thing apart even more than what you've shown today? Totally. I think the, the beauty here is the fact that this is purposely built for email, right? So I can have like a mobile preview and I can see oh, how things cool. work from here. Uh, the fact that, you know, this is trained, the LLM is trained on React email code. So we have a bunch of templates that we already used here to generate like a high quality output from the first prompt versus five or 10 until you have something that looks decent. And the fact that I can just send right away, right. I think this is super powerful too. But yeah, the vision is to go much broader than that. Like there's a lot of email related tooling that we can add. 
Like imagine uh, adding an email checker to see that all the paths are, are right. Or, you know, making sure that you're not adding an SVG because SVGs are not supported mm -hmm. in email clients. Or a link checker to make sure all the links are going to the right places. Or a spam checker to see like how a spam filter would uh, interpret this. So I think there's there's a lot of opportunity there. Yeah, and then we also have some cool stuff coming with like UI interaction too that I think will set this apart and make it more versatile for like both devs and non-devs alike. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming, but uh, like we said, this is very early and uh, excited to see where it's going to go. Like, yeah, yeah. I I, sure. I want to try this with a real company though. Let's take like okay. <laughs> let's take Linear, a real SF company, okay. none of this uh, okay. fake coffee, um, <laughs> and see if it can do something like that. Nice. Let's let's do that. So uh, let's create a linear email. Uh, maybe let's change the use case here. It's gonna be uh, a invite user email. Let's use dark mode. Yeah, it's gotta be dark mode. Why not? <laughs> okay, let's just do dark mode. Let's see what what happens here. So, like, it does it know linear, or will it just look it up? Like, how? I guess we'll see. Yes. Yes, we'll see. Funny enough, because we're talking about SF Coffee Company, it's still using that as a context <laughs> okay. because this is the same chat. But as you can see here, all the URLs, it knows that it's like linear.app, not just oh, like okay, any cool. linear. It's, you know, it's a, a project management tool for you to track, track tasks and, and all that. So yeah, it, it was able to like know that so that's pr pretty cool and it explains what it's doing here too in case you want to like keep tweaking mm. you know when I, I showed this to my wife uh she's non-technical right so i just gave her this and then she started typing and i, I want to share with you what she typed okay. for the All first right. time i like this <laughs> so so she was like uh she's a big fan of beyonce okay so she said <laughs> Create a newsletter for Beyonce. Straight to the queen. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted uh, the last three tours. Uh, and of course, she wanted to make it pink and add glitter. So what's pretty cool about that, when I, I looked at that for the first time, is the fact that it helps you with the actual content, right? Uh, oh, okay. I happen to... Uh, like I went to this Renaissance tour with her, so I I, I know this is true. <laughs> uh, so as we can see here, like it, it gets like real data, and wow, yeah, like now I I have I have a newsletter for Beyonce, which is pretty nice, and it works. <laughs> uh, we should have sent that to her, but that's okay. You can look at it. Yes, exactly, <laughs> and yep, it renders pretty well on my email client as well. Oh, wow, that's cool. Well, I know a lot of people are asking, like, when can they start to play with this? When are we going to start sending out invites? When is it going to go live? Yeah, where are we at timing-wise? Yes, uh, we have a lot of people to onboard, so uh, and we want to make sure we're doing that in waves, so we don't put like everybody in the same week. So we're going to start onboarding folks uh, probably next week, uh, starting with the people who shared on X, and you know they're helping spread the word. And yeah, every week we're going to start like bringing a new group of people to to try it out. Yeah, we've got a lot of really cool stuff planned too. So I think having that feedback will be really important. And as you've seen this demo, if there's things already that you're like, ooh, I would really like this, or this needs to be different for me to really take advantage of this in my particular work, you know, use case, that kind of thing, that would be cool to know as well. But obviously once we get real users too, that'll be the real power is to get that kind of immediate feedback exactly and if you're watching this and you're like wow i desperately need this this is exactly what i need uh yeah leave a comment or send me a dm whatever like find a way to to get in touch and we can jump you ahead on the wait list yeah this is very much the beginning but it's cool to see where it's gonna yes. go well thanks for <laughs> thanks again for the call and uh I'm, i hope this will help people get excited about what's coming with new email for sure thank you chris this is fun yeah, thanks see ya see ya